Right, hello there LARP fans, Stuart here with an interesting question. We were asked if we know of any LARPs in the UK that catered for under 12s. Well, we decided we would throw this question out to the LARP community and ask the two younglings to come on the show. And here they are, Izzy and Charlie, hello! Hello! How are you doing, all good? Yes, fine, yes. thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> And there, and there, uh, in the background, there is their long-suffering mother, Bex. Ooh. Hi, Bex. How are you? <laughs> all... How are you two? <laughs> all is everything all good in the pit household? Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, and I know, I know that Luke is is uh, sidling on the side there. He's, uh, you know, come on, get the boldness in. There it is. Look at the shine. Really? Look at the shine. Honestly. <laughs> I hate you all. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> you know, I bet you'd even love some grey, wouldn't you? Let's be honest. Oh. Get on with the bloody questions. <laughs> Right then, so a uh, quick disclaimer, and obviously, as you've probably gathered by now, um, I, I, I know these two very well, as they <laughs> happen to be the spawn of our very own Luke and Bex there. Uh, so with a quick discussion with Bex, we have decided to make these two very special younglings the spokeschildren for this campaign slash movement, and to open up it to a, del a, a basically a dialogue and a forum in which to discuss this all right yeah. so as i said they did ask us are there any larps that cater for under 12s now so i've already given them this que these questions so they have a little time to think about it and think about their answers so here we go here are the questions are you ready no. I was born ready. Is the correct answer. Right, okay. Right then. Name three things you would like a LARP game to do for you, i.e. the one I came up with, free ice cream. Charlie first. Oh, free ice cream's always good, isn't it? Um, <laughs> we would, I would like to have a quizzy... A, a kitty quest yeah. um, every day for him <laughs> and um, hiding from monsters. Always a good plan. And the children just fighting the adults. Yes, well, uh, the, yeah, n no, I think that's a terrible, no, it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> just remember, right? Nether regions down it hurts. They're about okay. that height though, aren't they? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and and how how about you, Izzy? Is, is same question to you. What three things would you like? Um, I would actually like. Stop it, Charlie. Oh. I would like. Um, it's so like the kids could go into the same plot as the adults, so the kids don't have to have a separate quest. Okay. They can all do it together. Yeah. Yeah. My second one is um, every night you get to eat a buttload of sweets. Sounds like a plan to me. And alcohol uh... like me. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, and for them, vodka, so we can get them as drunk as possible. <laughs> I'd love to see them wet the totally... bed. <laughs> <laughs> so random. Why? Why would you say that? <laughs> I haven't we done that in ages. We are sleeping in dormitories. No, we have no. to pay deposits and things. <laughs> she meant kiddie beer. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, like, uh, but absolutely. But but I'm, that's what she meant. I'm, I'm sure that's exactly what she meant. Okay, and what's the and, other thing? And so that the kids could have their own little like parts in the play, so what? they don't have to like be separated. So all the kids don't have to like be with all the adults at the same time. So they can either do monstering, do the adults, or they could be like part of the plot. Yeah, so they don't have to be part of all the other people. Okay. Right. Um, so the, the second question, and you've kind of answered, but I, I'll, I'll put it out there anyway. So should a LARP have separate plot just for the younglings? After all, you two, well, your mum and dad, have to pay for you as well at a lot of LARPs. Yeah, so they've actually got to hand oh. over cash. So yeah. should there be separate plot that ties in with the big plot? just for you or should the plot kind of be all in one but include you 
but but specially, you know, under the younglings then. Well, yes, I think if the I think we should all have the exact same plot, but the kids get like a bit extra instead yeah. of the adults because the adults like you know they're part of the big plot. Yeah. And they're like everything else, but then the kids don't. They only like get to stand around, and do nothing, just walk with the others. Yeah. So I was yeah, and sometimes um, yeah, we only do like a one day of quests for the kids, but then the rest of the day we're like this. Yes. Yes. No. I. I. So, I can. I think I can that's imagine. the same for most grown-ups yeah. as well. Though. Yeah, but I was thinking <laughs> that um, maybe like th- this lap, they yeah. could like probably like include all the children as well. So like. The adults get to have their chunk, and then the um, kids get to do the monstering, play as a character, or like be like, like really part of the plot, like a special thing or something. Okay, then right, um, right down for the for the last question, then right, using just one word. This will be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> describe your character. Go. Simple. I would like my no, just one word. Okay. So, so like, so like, my character my character is right. So the usual characters I play, right? My character is stupid. <laughs> my character is a Celt. A Celt, right? <laughs> is. I've made up this one. One no one word. <laughs> a cat bird. Cat bird. It's a half breed, half cat, half bird. Oh my bird. god! Got it the sewing machine out again, aren't Gabby. I? <laughs> That's fair enough. So then, uh, oh, uh, t- to you, Bex. Then, right? You know, as as a parent, and and as I said, Luke is sidling there in the corner. Um, you know, you 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 obviously pay money for these to go along. You know, with you, etc. What would you like to see the organisers do for Younglands? I know one of the systems, I was talking to somebody recently, that one of the systems, I think it might be Empire, they yeah. actually have an in-character school. Now, I thought this was awesome because in this school, yeah. it could give them the chance to learn the rules, how yeah. to respect other players, how to fight properly, yeah. um, and learn about the system as well, which I think is really good. But in a school atmosphere, in a school environment, which yeah. is almost like a crash, which would then give me a couple of hours off <laughs> yeah. to drink mead and butter beer. Um <laughs> And then what happens then is I think the kids then would be brought up to know the rules and the systems, etc. But then they would also feed into the game as well. So, you know, so they would learn and then it would be applied. I think that that sounded really awesome to me. Um, But I think it would give them a greater understanding because one of the things I find sometimes is sometimes the rules and um, the the history of the game can be quite complex. And I find that sometimes in myself, you know, that you don't know everything that's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So brought yeah. up in that environment and yeah. it help them with that system um but yeah i think just a bit more structure i think a lot of games that people are starting to get more kiddie friendly yeah which is great i mean balrog have, have, have grasped that the last few years which has yeah. been awesome they've been doing the little kiddie quests and the little kiddie quests have fed into the main plot okay yeah it's still this kind of big taboo with children getting involved in the battles now i can understand from the fighting aspects etc etc yeah but i think if the kids were raised to fight and know their limitations in these little school areas, yeah, you know, using refs to school it and do things like that, um, then I think the kids would know their limitations, so wouldn't necessarily just plunge straight into a final battle. They would know to kind of stay to the side, to stay safe, you know, pick pick your yeah. pick your fights when you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Try and know, heal other players um, like properly. You know, and just I think if you're paying money specifically for children to go, I mean, I think a lot of places they are saying that they'll bring the price down which is great yeah i'd be happy to pay a full price if i knew they were getting a full service dedicated for them yeah no exactly i mean you know when when you put the question to us um a couple of weeks back um i talked to rob yeah, yeah. and then I, and I talked to tom and what have you and we, and we looked at it and we thought Do you know what yeah absolutely right um yeah. what what is there for the kids i mean i know some systems do something you know exactly yeah. um but yeah. it's a half afterthought almost yeah it's it's, it's like oh kids yeah. what and it's, you... i guess it's a big income stream as well because if you've yeah. got families going you yeah know, exactly parents are more likely to go if they know the kids can get embroiled in it yeah um and you're more likely to get people i mean the generation is getting older you know it's, it's the kind of um 
the income levels of, of older people bringing in children, you know, and it's a great weekend, usually bank holiday weekend, somewhere to take the kids. Yeah. You know, they're going to be safe and have a good yeah. fun and do something a bit different. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, and I think it's a, it's a great opportunity, I think, that may be missed. You know, yeah. There's, there's a pain in the arse, yeah. I guess that, do you know yeah. what I mean? It can yeah. be a pain, yeah. thinking about kids. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think, you know, potentially there's quite a lot there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just thought about it outside the box. Yeah. And 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 how about how about Luke? What what, what does Luke think about this? Oh God! I'm sorry. I was just watching a video. Then it was absolutely disgusting. Um, <laughs> you know how you get those things on Facebook, and you yeah. sit there and go, "I really shouldn't be watching this." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Us- I, I think it's, I think it's great. I us- think, usually one of the lap book videos. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think one of the major problems I think that a lot of kids suffer with is that they don't feel included, and I think mm. there's lots of difference reasons for that one may be that they're a bit too young and people think oh god you know if they're in a huge battle they're going to get hurt and yeah. we have that yeah. where you know kind of charlie and izzy were getting all very excited and then uh poor dave just fell over one of them and you know and there was a whole bunch of grief and you know kind of depression and guilt as no, they thought they'd like, you know practically taken one of their heads no, off and we yeah. literally we thought um because I know Charlie was looking forward to a battle, yeah. but then it got to the point then um, people were like batting us off saying, no, you can't fight. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause scared. yeah. But then I could fight, but then I thought it wasn't fair because Charlie couldn't fight because I'm tall enough to fight because all the adults can see me. Yeah. But uh, Charlie is a Short. midget. Yeah. Oh, and so he's, perf- he's perfectly sized things, for his age of 46. So, yeah, so, yeah, so I just took them home and then yeah. kicked the living bejesus out of them as no. I normally do. Yeah, just that thing's fair. Yeah, uh, no, but I mean, as, as a result, the last time yeah. you, you, you singled out, you knew that they were looking for a fight. So, Luke being the monster, yeah. took them out, you know, because he knows yeah, how yeah, to yeah, handle yeah. them. So, they got a bit of action. Yeah, and they were doing something. But, but of course, it is worth noting that, you know, these two have been going since they were born. Yeah, so, yeah. since babies. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, um, you know so, as you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, they are aware of the people in the group that we're with. They're very mm. friendly with them. They know everybody. And I think they do get a little bit carried away because they know everybody. Yeah, yeah I, I, I said to Is that she was on this precipice, really, where she was a bit too old for the, all the, 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 the youngling kiddie quests, yeah. but not old enough to sit there and go and fight. Uh, um, yeah. And there's going to be that time in her kind of LARPing uh, life where that's always going to be the case. Yeah. And unfortunately, it is a lot of fun. And so for kids to sit on the sideline uh, seems incredibly unfair. And it's it's, it's a, a bit naff. Off. Yeah, it is. It is a bit naff. I mean, I, I you know, yeah. I, I can I can only imagine. I mean, as you know, my, my Katie, my, my daughter has been going yeah. Yeah. to LARPs for, well, <laughs> five. <Forever. laughs> Since she was about five, scaring the bejesus out of adults. By yeah. being the scary child at the end of a corridor, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, and from there she she's continued. I mean, she she does the empire system, uh, believe it, you know, or not. Um, and yeah, it was difficult for us, certainly in the beginning, um, until she got old enough, big enough, and hairy enough to batter the living daylights out of everything. Um, so so yeah, I know I. I, I, I kind of feel feel your pain on that one. Um, so right, we'll we'll leave that there. So so there you go. Right, that's that's basically um, the the two poster younglings uh, over there. Right, they want to know what you, as a LARP organizer, can do for them. All right, uh, they pays their monies. Well, mum and dad pays the monies. Yeah. They pays their <laughs> monies. Right. They Perfect. want some good, solid plot. They want some good, solid action. They want to really get involved. So this is over to you now, everybody out there in LARP land. Yeah. Come up with solutions and put them in the comments uh, below and we'll see what uh, actually comes out of it. Uh, maybe we'll get a good response. So thank you very, very, very much, Izzy Thanks. Charlie. That was I will just add my comment down there as well. Oh, I'm sure I will. Yes. Um, uh, right. Thank you very much, Bex. Thank you very much, Luke. Thanks, Sue. Right. All right. Bye-bye. And I we'll... we'll... Like a midget <laughs> a singing midget. <laughs> <laughs> He's hairy. He's hairy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So um, we'll see you again, right? Bye.